I mean, what other company or promotion can you say is just based around strong women? Like Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Okay. Hey, hey, everybody. You are watching Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. And I'm your host, Katrina Blake, host and creator of Encat We Trust, but also one of the hosts and writers of Women's Wrestling Talk. Today, we have an amazing show lined up for you. And of course, nothing but absolutely amazing guests. And today is no exception. Please welcome one of WoW's newest additions to the superhero roster, Ariel Sky. How are you today? Hi, I'm doing lovely. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming on. And so my very first question for you is, what initially drove you to decide to join WOW and WOW Superheroes? Um, great question. So what had initially drove me to join the WOW Superheroes, Women of Wrestling, is the roster. I mean, what other company or promotion can you say is just based around strong women like everyone is just so unique and it's just so phenomenal just getting to be able to work with all of these women or eventually hoping to work with all of these women um each superhero brings a different kind of background whether it is an athletic background um martial arts um just being a freaking superhero or really f cool um you know, the whole roster is women. And I really love that WOW Women of Wrestling gives um, each superhero that platform to be able to showcase who they are. And they don't make us fit inside of a box of what they want us to be. You know, it's, it's whoever you are. And I believe that's truly beautiful. And I couldn't be more grateful and more proud to be a wow superhero. So it was a no brainer, you know, that was, that was the team that I wanted to be on, you know, and the company I wanted to represent. Yes, that's actually one of the things I, well, we here at Women's Wrestling Talk appreciate is that there's a whole bunch of different kinds of women uh, on the roster, but you guys all do so many different things and you can find something for everybody. Um, on right. there. So that's something that I love. And so you, used to compete uh about five years old in gymnastics and you was like an you know all-star uh so how what got your interest to spark your interest in wanting to do gymnastics because <laughs> i not that you know flexible so yeah uh, what sparked that interest to you know getting into that when you was a child um i'm laughing because i don't really it initially was not my choice in the sense of um uh, I was four years old running bananas around my house, just like bouncing off of everything. Um, and my mother has a ton of antiques everywhere. So she just was like, this child has so much energy. What are we going to do with her? And um, I, ironically, my neighbor went to um, a tricky tray. I know a lot of people don't know what that is. Um, a tricky tray, it's just like um, a charity thing to raise money I, I don't really know and in the basket she had won um a thing for a gymnastics place local to me and she had like called my mother up because she was a mother of like three boys and she's like oh like they play sports and stuff so she like called my mother and she's like hey Denise um you know I got this this tricky tray basket for gymnastics and my mother was like oh my god this kid does not stop running around. Let's put her in it. And I just, I don't remember my first class, but I just remember instantly being there and absolutely falling in love. So it was the most beautiful, happy accident, if you will. I love that. And so how do you incorporate that and I guess use it to kind of elevate your wrestling? Because that's something we got from our, your first debut match. We got that right away that you were somebody who was very athletic and was able to move very quickly around the ring. And so how did you incorporate what you learned in gymnastics until, you know, being in well? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, so I just feel like it certain things in a wrestling match i incorporate my gymnastics moves to get from say one corner to the next and um 
for some people it won't be, but again, I did gymnastics since I was four. So the quickest way for me to get from one corner to the next would be doing some flips of some sort. So um, I use it as great transitions to get from point A to point B, um, just in a unique manner, if you will. Um, I've always felt more comfortable upside down and on my hands. So I just feel like I try to incorporate that in wrestling today just because, um, why not? <laughs> um, you know, if you have it, why not use it? But also, um, I, I found like also, um, at wow, women of wrestling, there's a lot of girls and I wish when I was younger that, you know, there was someone I could look up to and kind of realize, Hey, you know, you don't have to be the social norms of, oh, you just have to be skinny, petite, like, no, like, I'm, I'm pretty strong. And I feel like I want to, you know, display that in my wrestling matches, um, strong, athletic, um, you know, so I feel like I'm trying to find unique ways to bring that to wow, women of wrestling ring for these young girls, or anyone to kind of just look at and you know, relate to, or, you know, I've had some fans after shows, um, mostly little girls just kind of come up to me and they're like, wow, like, that's really cool. Like I do gymnastics. Like I didn't know wrestling could be intertwined with this. And, you know, it's, it's funny because I didn't either like, you know, but it's just so beautiful watching both my worlds kind of mesh together and then just having these little girls, you know, kind of thinking like, oh, okay, like, you know, if gymnastics or this doesn't pan out, there's always other avenues. And I think it's so beautiful when both my worlds come together. I love that. Yes. I, that's again from, and I guess this is going to bring me into my next question. Sure. From the very first debut, uh, it was obvious that it was like, oh, yeah, she's somebody who can move around the ring. You're very athletic. And so that's something, again, for girls who, again, what I do like about WOW is there's so many different types of women who wrestle in different types of styles. And so no matter what part of wrestling you like, you can find one superhero to kind of hold, attach yourself to because of that. And so your first debut match was with BK Rhythm. And so how was that debut? But also, did you learn anything uh, from wrestling her? Absolutely. Um, so like you said, wow, women of wrestling, I think our roster and all of the athletes are phenomenal because there's something for everyone. Um, my first match against BK Rhythm inside of a wow, women of wrestling ring was just phenomenal. And yes, I absolutely learned so much from her. She is a phenomenal competitor. Um, I would love to get back in the ring with her any day of the week um you know and she just is so calm cool and collected in there and she's smart though she knew to get under or no to get inside my head she was gonna cut a wrap on me first so that kind of threw me off a little bit so i'm like okay you know she's just saying a bunch of stuff she doesn't know anything she doesn't know anything about me keep it together okay and now I have to go wrestle. So she definitely brings this different side, but also I just love the side she brought out of me because um, I don't know if she did her homework, but if you watch the match, I went for certain sequences of gymnastics moves and she outsmarted me. I'll give it to her there. She didn't get the win, but she did know how to counter my moves and kind of you know, get on top and, you know, really, really put on a hard hitting competitive match. And there's nothing I love more than a good competition. And I love to challenge myself. And here at um, WOW Women of Wrestling, I really believe our whole roster can bring that. And I love that because you're not going to find two um, superheroes that are the same. Like even with my newly formed tag partner, Randy Rara, she comes from a cheerleading background. Um, and I come from gymnastics background and they might be the cousins of each other, but they're not the same. You know, she does a ton of stuff that I watch and I'm like, wow, that's really cool. I can't do that. And maybe vice versa. So I feel like it's very diverse and it allows us as athletes to 
you know, not only compete against some of the best wrestlers that there are, but to completely challenge ourselves because the same way I went into this match um, against BK Rhythm, maybe I won't have the same game plan or mindset against another um, competitor here on WOW Luna, Women of Wrestling, you know, it challenged us to, you know, change up our skills and really think and be quick because again, you know, I'm not going to take on maybe wrecking ball the same way that I took on um, BK or any of the other competitors here. I love that you mentioned uh, your tag of relationship with Randy because that was my next question. And so I love you, it. you so far have teamed up with Randy Rava a few weeks ago, and then you was also teamed up with Randy and Coach Campanelli. And so how was that team spirit, you know, people who are energetic, but, you know, willing to work together? How was that as far as tagging with both Randy solo and then with Coach and then Coach being coach, did you learn any tidbits or hints or tips from Coach Capanelli joining with her last episode? Absolutely. Um, you know, Coach is phenomenal. I actually have a notebook of Coach tips um, in, in my gym bag um, in case, you know, that I need them. Um, I put, the, I read them this morning. There was absolutely nothing helpful for this interview. So um, in that sense, didn't help. But yeah, um, Coach Campanelli, she's phenomenal. And I can only speak for myself here. Um, being an athlete, growing up with gymnastics, um, I, I need someone kind of literally coaching me saying, okay, you need to do this, this, and this, and we'll do whatever it takes to win because we want to be at the top. So I really think that her firmness and, you know, her drive and dedication really, really brings out a special side of myself and also my um, new tag partner, Randy Rara, because I think the two of us separately have the athletic ability, the drive, the dedication, and all of this. But sometimes as an athlete, you know, you forget to, I don't want to say think straight, but sometimes when the competition's at hand, you need another set of eyes telling you what you can do to improve, to be the best, to win. And I really think Coach brings that out of both myself and Randy Rara here at WOW Women of Wrestling. I love that. Yes, I definitely do think that you have, it's nice that you have a new book of tips. I think that's always handy yes. to have. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also nice that you can also see how you guys are both different, but complement each other. I think that's always so really important when you're tagging with somebody or you're in a group with somebody else. And so this leads me now, could you see yourself going against Penelope for the WOW, you know, world title? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I'd be lying if I sat here and said that I didn't want that. Um, you know, I think we should all want that and have goals. Um, you know, it definitely would be a stepping point in my career. And I feel like I have a lot to offer, but a lot to prove as well. She's a, she's a tough competitor. I've I've done my homework. I've watched a lot of these girls, you know, because I want to see, you know, who I have to keep up with or not even that. I just want to challenge myself and I would absolutely love um, to go for that one day for sure and really leave everything and give everything that Ariel Sky has to offer inside of WOW Women of Wrestling ring and really, really show what I could bring to WOW, which, um, you know, I think I have some high flying skills, um, definitely need some more help with coach. Um, I need to absorb what her knowledge and um, maybe she could give me some helpful tips how to be number one and to get that belt around my waist, the wow, women of wrestling. So I would I would absolutely love that.
Um, <laughs> so I wanted to uh, thank you so much for coming on. Again, we thank here you. at Women's Wrestling Talk love you guys. You think We think you are a fantastic addition to the superheroes. Again, you bring your own thing to WoW, which I think is, again, so necessary for women fans and little girls watching. And so can you tell everybody where they can find you on social media? Yes. So please, please, please go follow um, on right now on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I know there's some new social medias, but that's all I have right now. It is Ariel Sky underscore wow. So it's all the same for Instagram and Twitter. Please go follow, send me a like, tweet, whatever it is. Um, I interact with mostly everyone on there. So I would love to get to talking and to interact with everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. Again, we love you guys. Please don't forget to check out WOW every Saturday night. Check your local listings to find out what times, because there are different times for different locations. Again, we love everything that you ladies do on WOW. We are so grateful that you guys allow us to interview you. And again, everybody, please also follow Women's Wrestling Talk, number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Until next time, guys. Bye. Women's Wrestling Talk the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet.